Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node Sign. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius, so it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements. Let's see how Aquarius is viewing the situation or a person they are connecting with at this time. What's in their mind space, please? How Aquarius is viewing the situation, please? Let's see. Emperor. Ace of Wands. Very strong masculine energies here, Aquarius. It's regardless of a gender. It's not a gender-specific reading. We all have masculine and feminine energies. Let's have one more card. The Sun. Could be dealing with Aries or Leo. What I see here, Aquarius, uh, literally I can hear I like this and I want it and I'm going to have it. Right? Somebody makes you very happy here in this situation. You feel very passionate about it. And you feel very capable at the same time. I see you standing in your power and also... Oh, look at this. Oh my God. Look at this. On the bottom of the deck here we have uh, the star, Aquarius card. And uh, Magician, Six of Coins and the Knight of Cups. I see you being in your power, Aquarius. And I see you uh, quite, being quite happy uh, within the situation. Let's see... Let's see how your person is viewing this. What's in their mind space, please? How this person is viewing Aquarius and this relationship, please? How this person is viewing Aquarius and this relationship, please? What's in their mind space? Let's see. Queen of Cups. The world. Let's get one more card. I see this person having a lot of emotion for you, Aquarius, and for this connection. Could be dealing with the fixed sign. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus here. Let's get one more card. Seven of Wands. Right. You know what I'm picking up, Aquarius, on somebody who... who has a lot of emotion for you, right? And they also feel like there could be an opening of a new cycle for themselves in love and their life with you. But I also see with the Seven of Wands here, I see them uh, maybe fighting this a little bit, maybe standing on their own way a little bit here, because uh, we have here uh, Eight of Pentacles and Ten of Swords in the bottom of the deck, uh, which tells me that this person, like many of us, of course, uh, there was some kind of a heartbreak before. I'm not sure if it's connected to you or no. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's most most likely it's connected with something from their past experience. But I also see that uh, they are not over this heartbreak. I see them actually, they were trying to work a lot, to like put a lot of energies in their work finances, just not to think about this this heartbreak that they had before, so I, it feels like it's probably not completely healed. So, in this situation, most most people are, if if they if they bring this like past baggage, of past trauma into the new relationship, it will make them a little bit sometimes anxious or defensive, right, within the new connection already. But let's keep going. Let's see. How Aquarius is feeling about this relationship? What's in their heart space, please? How Aquarius 
his feeling about this relationship? What is in their heart space, please? What is in their heart space? With regards to this person, let's see. Now you are doing this, seriously? Right. Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more card before I say something. I, I don't particularly like seeing swords in the heart space. But it's often with the air signs. Air signs are often trying to use their mind in the matters of heart, I noticed. Right. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, and with the, with the Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Swords in the bottom of the deck, I see you also, uh, it's probably because this person is kind of defensive within this connection, a little bit. Uh, I see they, uh, they are, it, it puts you a little bit in your mind space, right? However, uh, I, I see you a little bit back and forth between, um, between maintaining your own integrity with Nine of Coins and Nine of uh, Swords here. It's basically repeating what's here on the table. I see you being a little bit back and forth between some kind of an anxiety, like you probably do not understand why this connection isn't going, you know, so easily in a, in a certain direction. And, uh, you know, also with the, with the Knight of uh, Pentacles here, it's the slowest card in the deck. It's probably, you also would like things to develop a little bit faster within this connection, but it's, they are not. So, uh, I see, I see you being a little bit in your mind space, but actually not much. I see you maintaining your own integrity. I see you taking care of yourself, but to be honest, uh, maybe keeping a little bit away from this person, maybe giving them space. It feels like you're giving them space, to be honest. You're not trying to be, you know, too persistent. Although you would like to be with the, with the emperor here, I see that you would like to be. Let's see how this person is feeling about this connection. Let's see. Four of Swords, and now they want to heal. Four of Cups. I think these two cards, these two cards uh, were in Libra's reading, I think. If I'm not mistaken, Libra or Gemini. I think Libra. Uh, maybe you're dealing with Libra, maybe you have heavy Libra in your chart. But anyway, try to uh, watch that video. Maybe there is a message for you there as well. Let's get one more card. Ooh. Five of Wands. And with the Temperance and the Page of Cups here on the bottom of the deck, I feel like I feel like this person Aquarius now they, they understand I, I I see they understand that they need to heal. And they're going through the healing mode. But in the same time uh, I see this person feel, feeling discontent and a lot of conflict within this person. A lot of conflict that probably probably has its roots in the past trauma. Definitely. Definitely. I see cups on their side. I see with the temperance here and the page of cups. I see that they they would actually like they would like to extend themselves in your direction. And they would like to balance themselves. Probably that's what they're trying to do uh, with the four of uh, swords here. Because I see this person uh, looks to me like right now when they are already in the new connection, they are trying to heal themselves from whatever happened in the past. Maybe it's going not very successful, not very fast. So this person is quite conflicted within themselves. Right? Now let's see what actions 
is this person going to take towards Aquarius? I feel like it's a very new connection for you, Aquarius. I don't feel any past energy in here. I feel it's somebody you met very recently, probably. Very recently. And with a lot of major arcana here, especially on your part, I think that uh, it's quite a significant connection in some way. Let's see. They are doing this again. Look at this. Knight of Wands and Nine of Wands. Let's get one more card. I see this person having a lot of emotions for you. They they have some they have love for you with the Queen of Cups here and the Page of Cups that we've seen, but I also see them deeply conflicted within themselves. Page of Cups, you see, just like I said, you can see that, Aquarius. Right. Oh look also we see the um, Emperor and the Empress and the and the page of uh, page of coins here in the bottom of the deck. That's nice. Okay, but let's see first what actions Aquarius is going to take towards this person, please. What actions will Aquarius take towards this person? Please keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so I could be talking to the cross watcher about Aquarius. Let's see. Five of Cups, Eight of Cups. Let's get one more card. One more card, please, for Aquarius. Interesting. Nine of Coins. Look, what I see going on here, Aquarius, is that probably, I think that you've been, yes, picking up on the, on the doubts of this person, and also you have your own doubts and reservations uh, with regards to the love connections that you probably had in the past, because I see that uh, some, some memories from the, you know, past connections that were not probably very successful are uh, surfacing for you here. Uh, but I also see you leaving that behind. I see you leaving that behind, right? Oh, what, I see, what I see happening here, I see the process where your person, uh, they are very passionate about you, right? And they, and they do have a lot of emotion for you. And with the, with the night of um, once here, I see them uh, I see them actually willing to extend themselves towards you, however they keep being guarded, right? They keep being guarded. I see that, uh, I see them working on this at this moment, which is, I think it's okay. It's okay because, uh, well, this happened to us. This happens to us, right, to everyone. That we are coming out of some previous experiences, maybe wounded, because with the Nine, nine of Wands is exactly called the Wounded Warrior. So I, I, I feel like something happened to this person in their past. Something happened that, uh, that every time they enter some kind of emotional connection, uh, it triggers something that makes them defensive. However, they see that within this connection with you, they would like to drop this guard. I see them willing to do that. I see them studying to how actually do that, right? And I think they are going to be quite successful at that because with the, on this person's part, with the emperor and the empress, first of all, it's a counterpart, right? It's a divine counterpart here. And with the uh, page of coins between them, I see that um, for this person, for both of you, actually, this could be, this could be a, a, a very good connection. I see it, it, this could go places, right? But it needs a lot of healing on their side and some healing on your side too, right? Because I see you, oh, look at this. What you have on the bottom of the deck is four of wands and two of swords. I see you also going back and forth. On one side, 
you would like to establish something stable here, right? On the other side, maybe you you keep thinking with this two of swords here. Should I do this? Should I not? Or maybe how to do this? I don't know, right? You are you're still you <clears throat> you are uh, somehow in the space of doubts as well. And I see that you will try to to demonstrate this person that you are single, independent, and you know like. Almost like, I don't need anybody. If if you don't want to, to put your guard down, if you don't want to be with me, I don't need anybody. But please don't do that. I see that. I see this, this person is... Re I see them working on their selves. Yes, I see they have their guards up. Uh, but I also see that uh, they are not going to just leave and go. You know, to just get up and go. I see a lot of potential within this relationship. But I see that both of you... Uh, but mostly the person to the left of me will have to work a lot on their past traumas, right? And uh, as for you, Aquarius, I see you. I see you going a lot faster through the same uh, healing process. So maybe you are a little bit annoyed. Uh, what takes them so long, you know, to to just to to keep up with you? But you know, everybody's going on their own pace, so. Uh, maybe just be a little bit patient with them, right? But I see, th I see this. This has a potential for sure, for sure. Okay. Uh, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius, and I hope it helped in some way. And I hope to see you again. Bye, Aquarius.